Damien, were you there? Uh, when we were going to, like, I think we were going to Snook's Bottle. And we were in the car. And uh, I think we were, we were talking about Papa John's for whatever reason. And the driver was there. And I said, like, why don't they put, like, Papa John's on a hot air balloon so we can go everywhere? Like, they put a kitchen on, the hot, on like, a giant hot air balloon and they can land anywhere and, like, give pizza out. And Kate, and oh, I like, fucking died! And Caden was like, hold on a minute. Did you, that is the most stupid, <laughs> most ridiculous thing you ever talked about. That is fucking stupid. You, and I was like, "What? It's it's plausible. It's a plausible good idea." He's like, "You want to put Papa John's on a fucking air, on a hot air balloon? You fucking idiot! Fuck you!" <laughs> I felt good to remember that. He was super mad. <laughs> That's funny. This had to be in my car, right? It was in yours. You yeah, it had to be in your car. But I just remember him like being really upset about the idea. <laughs> There being a Papa John on a air balloon. Remember the time we went there and those horrible evil women were asking if they could like like use uh, like our floaties? The paddle boats? Yeah, the little paddle boats. Wait, I think so. They're like, hey, can we borrow those? And I was like, oh, they're not mine. Let me ask. And I, I asked you, Aiden, and you're like, what the fuck? No. <laughs> uh, I think the weirdest part about that was like when you guys did the thing where you. <laughs> Why? Oh no, the, the remember the push up the push up thing? The push up thing. Oh it was supposed to be way funnier than it was. Oh oh yeah. We were I like remember. We were like, wouldn't it be funny so there was like a bunch of people on this pier, we were like, wouldn't it be funny if like one of us like was like, hey guys, check this out, and did like ten push-ups, and then like jumped off the thing. We were, and we were, and, and then like the, and then like we were like hyping that guy up the whole time, and so Caden was like, yeah, I'll do the push-ups, and you guys are gonna like be my hype men. No, like, like why did I dodge? God damn it, I got so. No, I was the one who did the push-ups. Were you? I was. Okay, I you know. were the one. Okay, you were the one who did the push-ups, and then we and me, me. I think me and Caden were your hype men, and then Silas recorded from like the the island like a hundred yards away, and you just couldn't see or hear anything. Yeah, I, I felt really awkward because I realized I'm just kind of videotaping people, like having a good time. Yeah, it was not as funny as it was. Right, hey guys, uh, look at uh, look at this, and like two people looked over, and he Aiden did the push-ups and jumped off the thing. It was it was much a better idea in our head. Ninja go! <laughs> Jump up, kick back, whip around, and me. No! Motherfucker! What's the lowest we got in the health to? I can't remember anymore. It was literally like this much, like an eight. It was an eight. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up, I'm getting good at this fight. I'm yawning. I didn't mean it. I did better than you, Damien. Yeah. Hydrogen bomb versus coffin baby. <laughs> Hydrogen bomb versus crab Aiden. Crab <laughs> Aiden. It's lobster Aiden. Sorry. I don't have a shell! I don't have a shell! Let's go shellless. I wonder if there's a shellless run. They're probably. <laughs> What's this game called? <laughs> Beating another crab's treasure without using the shell. Day one! <laughs> Beating one boss without the shell for every follower. Silas, what would you do if you came home from work and your little brothers were um were selling all of your stuff outside? <laughs> like in the Hobbit? Yeah. Or, or, or like Diary of a Wimpy Kid. That would be a, that would be kind of that's semi plausible, but only if I'm like gone for a long time. They like undersell everything though. They charge like fifty dollars for your computer. If they if they, they have they don't understand the value of anything. They don't understand the valuable layers I have. Hey, can we play with it? No! No, you can't. I can't wait to be the uncle who has, like, a bunch of Legos and no kids and all my nephews are like, can we play with them? And I'm like, Psh, no! It's not even like I want to be me. It's like, I, I would totally, I, sometimes I buy them sets, but it's like, I'd totally let you play with them if it wasn't for the fact that this one costs $60. I'd give them a bucket of random shit. I'm like, you can play with this, but you can't touch any of the nice, fun-looking ones. It's no offense, they're just not gonna ever make Lego Bad Batch ever again, so. <laughs> No offense, kid, but, um... Are you guys gonna have kids one day? I would like them. I'm gonna but... have kids, and Damien, you're gonna be the weird uncle. Yeah. No, I'm gonna be the cool uncle. <laughs> Don't say weird uncle! Damien, you're gonna be the weird uncle that, 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 that like, has all the cool shit, but they're not allowed to play Personally, I'm never having kids. I might adopt like a 17 year old just so I don't have to deal with them for that long. 
one little, one little, one little child, but at the same time, not for a long time. That would, that, one little that would, Baba. I would hope to, I would hope to raise them in a way where they're fucking chill, just chill like that. If um. If they're like seven or eight years old, and they're like, I don't know, I tried to think of something funny, but I couldn't, I'm sorry. <sighs> oh, what if, okay, what if they were like really into like, stuff like Has Been Hotel and like Homestuck and those kind of fandoms, like My Hero Academia? Would that still be around in the future? Um, probably not, but let's assume it is. I guess let's assume that Hasbro Hotel becomes a million dollar franchise. Uh huh. Um, They're making Hasbro Hotel 2 20 years from now. Oh, dude! <laughs> Fuck you, man! I think it would kind of depend on which side of the fandom are. Like, are they just like into the characters or are they really into the production of it too? Because I know. Know, people who worked on it. You're in the car and they're like, Can I have, can I put something on the way that I like, there's a song that I like? And uh, they, 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 they plug the, the Bluetooth cord into no, their, into their phone. And they start playing the, the one song where it's like, I'm a schmoozer, baby, a loser, and a do whatever that one is. I would say, Alright, you can put on one cringe song if I put on one cringe song and I put on the Undertale rap. <laughs> That's probably worse than the one I was thinking. Story of Undertale. Hey kids, nice to eat ya. Are you ready for some Fazbear pizza? <laughs> I don't think kids are, kids nowadays don't understand how fucking FNAF used to be. Mm hmm it Used to be fucking weird. It's kinda cool though. FNAF is like the one fandom where making a first series like accepted. Like, oh, they're just making the animatronic suit, duh. <laughs> a dur. Did I tell you, did I talk about on the channel about the guy who's making a fucking like, spring crap suit that actually has spring locks? No. Yeah, that, that's the gist of it. He's just like, he's uh, trying to kill himself, basically. He, he made like a perfect spring body outfit that's like perfectly sized to him, and then, and he, and then he shows off like. He, he like shows up, yeah. And there's also the the the, the spring lock mechanic in there too. And they actually clamp down. There's like a, I think I think he showed like his body scraped up one time. Basically, dude's just trying to become uh, fucking active. Michael, don't leave me here. <coughs> Michael. You're getting fucking. C -c 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 I don't I don't know you left for me, man. I don't know you left for me. I think we've been here for fucking like 45 minutes, longer than 45 minutes. Well, Silas, we've been in that one room for an hour when you played Hollow Knight, so I don't want to fucking hear it. Hey, that's not true. That is true. What room? What room are you talking about? The death room, where I was like, hey, Silas, name this Pokemon. Name this Pokemon, Silas. Was that an hour of footage? That was a while. Ooh, owie, zowie. We. What's the point of the compass? It, cause, it, cause all video games have compasses. That's not. Does true. Mario have a compass? I thought not. Mario Odyssey does. Mario hmm. Odyssey has a compass. Hmm? Yeah, but we're talking about classic uh, Mario. Damn it! You're right. Damn it! Super Mario Bros. He uses a compass to find the castle. <laughs> it's a side scroll. It's always like pointing this way. You don't see it because it's in his other hand and you only see one camera perspective. <laughs> no, I didn't get it dodged! God fuck you, whore! This queen probably slept around, she probably has HIV, and that's probably what all that goo is coming out of her mouth is. The crab queen is a liar, that a big fraud. Crab queen is a slut and a whore. Whore? Whore? A whore. Don't, don't let the people tell you otherwise. She slept around a lot. I definitely gotta tap her a few times. Gotta tap that ass. Let me tell you, Queen. Queen's got a nice. Uh, We're going to sire a powerful heir, and he's going to run the kingdom, right? He's going to be very powerful, very, very strong, very powerful crab heir, crab slash human heir. Tell you that Brandon Taylor fella, he's, uh, he's trying to become the next crap king. <laughs> I wonder how your dad would react to these bits. At, at the end of this tale, his um, 
uh, he, his his castle's being at attacked, and it's like coming down on him, and he's like, "Aiden, don't leave me here, Aiden." <laughs> Sand bricks are falling down. He's like, Aiden, I will give you the throne. You can have the coral shell. And then Aiden just like lo he he looks at his dad with uh, fucking looks at his dad with like sadness in his eyes. He closes them and he turns away and gets in his board tools and drives off. That's 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 when you get the scene of him in the sand, like the shining, like after all is said and done. That's how they find him. Your durability is going down, Aiden. Be careful. Oh, you fucking almost had it. Be careful. Aiden Taylor sleeping with the fishes. Quandale Dingle here. Come on, sleep Quandale with Dingle. Mama. And there's a compass on the fucking loading screen too. This game is fucking worthless. <laughs> hey man, this was made by like three people in a teapot, okay? Adding a compass to our game for every follower. <laughs> Come on, you gotta heal Aiden, you're gonna die! I just realized her name is fucking Magus. Uh, like, me gusta! Me gusta! Me gusta, Aiden, me gusta. Say it with us, Aiden, it might make you feel better. Me gusta! Me gusta! Me gusta! Me gusta! You can me gusta this shit, I will fucking kill you. I had a dream the other night. So did Martin Luther King Jr., did you know that? You guys have a lot of like. My head is no. I didn't understand what you were referencing until like four seconds ago. Um. Ow, fucker. <laughs> Ow. I, I, I had a dream that I was playing Minecraft and there was um, uh, like like heads for like the like like the rats from Ratatouille, like like mob heads for them. And the, those were like always in the game, and people just like forgot about them. I was like, man, when did, when did they add these? It's been hey, fucking the game you forever. Fucking Gusto player head. Yeah. That's or, or like or like Remy and the other and like the other rat. The like orange one. What was the tone of that dream? Like how I was playing my. I was just. That's the only snapshot I can remember from that. Can you like edit that into like a like an old alpha build of Minecraft and say? You guys remember when Notch took out the Ratatouille player heads? <laughs> Don't take any chances, Aiden. No, I fucking dodged! See how worthless this all is! You saw me dodge that, right? I saw you attempt to. <laughs> Slow mo that part right now. I was. I dodged it! I dodged it! No! God, I was doing. I was fucking. I fucking perfected that, dude. Can I try again? No. Okay. Fucker. <laughs> you can try again when I beat her. Well, that defeats the whole point, Puppets. Defeats the whole, the, the, the whole. All right, this is the real boss music, Damien. All right, play, play the actual, like, actual boss music. Before that was like the kitty stuff. The now play the real one. Fuck you, Damien. You can try again. If you. Oh, whoa! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! That was a close one. Uh, fuck you, bitch. Fucking. Fucking. Uh. If you got a DM from Van Ox Gaming and he asked you to play a Gmod with his friend, you do it. I don't say, know. Alright, hold on. I need to get dressed real fast. Oh. I need, for six hours. I need to do my laundry. What do you guys mean? <laughs> Like, I, like, no, I mean, like, today I did good. What do you, fuck you guys. I don't know if you know Did good today. I can totally see you, I can totally see you, like, uh, forgetting the collab with, like, a big YouTuber. It's like, yeah, PewDiePie's gonna, like, play a game with you, like, play the... Uh, I'm not gonna play lie. Games with you, and then you would, like, forget somehow. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I, I really don't care that much about Van Oss. I, I didn't grow up with him. Well, you had no childhood. Fuck you, I had a good childhood. 
the, uh, the, the I had a childhood where I went outside and played baseball. What did you do, Damien? We played cool games. That's yeah. also cool childhood. We, uh, yeah, but like one's better. The, the, the yeah, yeah. Mine's no, mine's better for me. Yours is good for mine's you. Better. Mine's better. <laughs> uh, Damien, I'll, 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 I'll jerk you off right now, dude. I swear to God. The Gmod community I grew up with was fucking... Uh, Insane in the membrane. <laughs> then if you press X while her while her health bar is doing that, then you knock her down and you get free attack. I know. I know. Aiden, what would you do? What would I do? What would you do if what would I, I, I do? You, I give you a large egg. Large egg. I say, all right, you need to take care of this for okay, a bit. It's a large egg. I gotta trip. take care of this for a business trip. Okay. And then I leave. That's, that's, the, that's the hypothetical. I don't know. I guess I'd take care of it because you're my friend. What do you do to take care of it? I don't give you instructions. That's the worst part. I taken care of little ch ch chicken chickens. So I also know how to take care of an egg. All right. Well, what do you do? What's your first step? What do you do with the egg first? I put it in like a cardboard box with like a bunch of hay around it, and then I get a heat lamp. Uh huh. And then I just let it sit there and check up on it, make sure it doesn't overheat. All right. What if one day you get home from work? See the eggs hatched. Yeah. Whoever's in there is gone. Oh, I'd freak out a bit. Well, would you go looking for what? Go and looking for it? Yeah. Why is it the sprint I'll working? Look my house. Cause you're gunks, dude. Oh. Uh, Say so you're like walking. Makes around, you slow. Walking around your house, and uh, you're like, and uh, you hear something on the ceiling. Look, <laughs> there's a giant spider. I kill it. Kill it with a shotgun. Child, it's, it's like, it's like. I kill it with a shotgun. If I don't do it, my dad's gonna do it. He hates spiders. Yeah, but here's the thing. It's between you and your. Room I only love lobsters. No, like actually, my dad had a dream one day where uh, where he was like in a nest of uh, a nest of spiders. Like in the <gasps> And he hated it so bad that he uh, he 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 was like fighting like like the giant spider. Like he was fighting it. Threw it off the web. Wakes up. My mom's on the ground like screaming. What the <laughs> fuck? Hey, that's the Spongebob episode where he's like, SPIDER! And he'd be fucking... <laughs> <laughs> that's what Frodo should have done. Dude, get a new shell, man! You're just about to break! Damien, if you beat it and I don't, I'm gonna be a little upset. I'm not gonna lie, I'll be a little upset. Oh, I can't. Yeah. Yes! Yeah! Man. It's shot up purple flirt. Man, I'm upset. <laughs> I cheesed it at the end, though. Those bubbles fucking did a lot of damage at the end. Though. I'm kind of upset. Now. Oh, scared. I, I, I feel real, real disappointed in myself now. I'm the Dark Soul Man, bro. Royal Wave? What the fuck? Did you, did you, did you even read that? Hold on. No. Ow. <gasps> you motherfucker! Yep, 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 yep. We get it, we get it. Yeah, I, I was going to read through it, man. I swear I'm going to... He's right there. Uh, He's like six feet away. Look at him. I've got to find a way after him. <laughs> Damn, Damien. You fucking got the control. Fuck. That's fun. <laughs> you still did better than me. Oh my god, you guys not know how to do it? <laughs> You just crack it open fast. You just crack it open fast. And then you just go, look, 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 look. It's too hard. God. At least you can't blame me for it anymore. I don't understand this. It's the power of the nitro. It's too complicated. Why did they make a drink that you need? That's so complicated. Ooh, I could attack more. Yeah, do that. No. Yes. No. Yes. yes. No. I am the queen now. All right, we all get sent to prison. Aiden, your new prison nickname is Pillowcase. Oh, my. I don't think you're supposed to be in there, Aiden. A thousand year old man in like the corner who's like, he's the name giver. You gotta see him first. He, uh, good. he touches your balls you like your like pillowcase. Him. Yeah. He, he like rolls them around his fingers like marbles, and he's like, <laughs> yes, pillowcase. I like to imagine he does like the like the meditation ball thing where you like exactly. it looks, really, him around. It looks exactly. really satisfying too. I don't want him to keep going. So pillowcase. And then he and then he goes back into the he, he like fuses into the wall like it's like made of like liquid. Pillowcase. You like that nickname, Aiden? Pillowcase. Yeah, pillowcase is alright. I don't mind that. All right, what's well, gonna be Damien's? You get the you get the name Damien, and Damien gets the name me. 
It would be Shardmeister. Meister. Shardmeister. He feels Damien's walls. Because you are the Shardmeister. Silas, you're tugboat. Tugboat. Okay, Shardmeister. That's Caden's. Caden's gotta be Blue Freak. Waffle Iron. Oh, waffle, waffle Iron is <laughs> pretty good, actually. It's called Waffle Iron, and then, uh. These four shadow are the ways that we die. So. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. So Aiden, uh, I get smothered by a pillow. Yeah, you get smothered by a pillow in your sleep. Uh, you, Damien. By accident, though, you like you like have your face up against it. And you like roll like in a weird way, and you like suffocate yourself. Aiden or Damien, you get killed by like shrapnel from a grenade from a grenade because you're the shardmeister. Mm -hmm. I get uh, I. Get, uh, you get you know, hit like, by a, you get a tugboat falls on top of you. No, I'm thinking like uh, you know like those medieval like torture devices that stretch you. Uh, mm -hmm. I get I get rope on my legs and rope on my arms and it pulls me apart. But it's like four different tugboats, so you yeah. get like drawn and quartered at the same time. <laughs> and then uh, Caden, he just gets smacked in the face with a waffle iron. No, I like to imagine it's like really gruesome for Caden. He gets like he gets like melted in between. You like, know he doesn't even get killed by a waffle iron. You know like uh, like metal grates how they have that pattern. Yeah. They get super heated somehow and they press them together. Ugh. It just looks like you got grilled. Ugh. Pepsi Nacho is not good enough for all the hassle, for all the pain and Fuck suffering you. you gotta go through. Fuck you. I mean, like, it's better with ice. But Pepsi that's Nitro's not, that's, awesome. That's not your fault. Fuck you. Pepsi Nitro's awesome. Oh, yeah, these fuckers texted me and they were like, they were like, uh, we're getting Pepsi Nitro. Do you have cups? And I was like, yeah, I have cups, but I don't have any. I don't have any ice. Like I, I don't have any like in my little ice tray we didn't right expect, now. We didn't expect Cur you to have ice currently. But then, but then you show up with like a tube of plastic cups, and you're like, "Don't worry, we got cups." And I was like, "That wasn't the problem. <laughs> that wasn't the issue." <laughs> well, now you got free plastic cups. One of you. Well, hold on, no, no, no. it was extra confusing because you said like, "Don't worry, we'll, we we took care of it." I don't know, man. So this is the one who texted everything. I said, don't worry, we got it, babe. I think. Yeah, and then I was like, are they getting ice? Are they just going to bring a giant thing of ice? That would be funny. I wish we did that. I didn't read the sign in time. It said wrong way. It was a big red sign that said wrong way. Yes, yeah, Silas, you asked, do you have cups? And I said, why do you need cups? You said nitro, and I was like, I, I, I can wash a few, but I don't have any ice. And you said, we can get, we got some, it's fine. I will be completely fair. We were walking around a fucking Walmart with that creep walking around. I was not looking at fucking. I wasn't. I didn't notice they even said ice. But the, la but the first thing I was thinking about Damien was jerk. So. You just had jerk on the mind. Jerk was on the mind. Ding 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 ding. Damien, you need to stop that shit. Oh, I'm sorry. You think Pepsi Nitro would be good with milk in it? Sure. I thought. We, wait, didn't we test that already? We tried pilk b before. Yeah, but like, I swear to God, we, we tested that theory. I think you just like, I'm gonna put some milk in it, and you tried it. And like, yeah, it's okay, pretty good. So this is tastes just, like a root beer float. Closed, I guess. Now root, now root beer and eggnog. That is a fucking legendary combination right there. You say that, and you keep hoping that I'm gonna understand. It's like it tastes good. 